there was once a fox who was very hungry. He wandered around the forest, looking for something to eat. He came across a garden, where he saw a bunch of red grapes hanging from a vine. The grapes looked so juicy and delicious, that the fox's mouth watered. He decided to jump and grab the grapes, but they were too high for him. He tried again and again, but he could not reach them. He became frustrated and angry, and he started to curse the grapes. These grapes are sour and rotten, he said. They are not worth my time and effort. I don't want them anyway. He turned away and left the garden, pretending that he did not care. But deep inside, he was still hungry and disappointed. Meanwhile, in the garden, there was a painter who was watching the fox. He was Cardusius Plantagenet Ream, an American painter who specialized in still life paintings. He had picked the grapes from the vine and arranged them in a beautiful composition. He wanted to paint them in a style called trompe l'oeil, which means, fool the eye. He wanted to create the illusion of depth and reality, using a subtle palette of grays and browns. He wanted to show his skill and artistry, as well as his humor and identity. He saw the fox trying to get the grapes, and he smiled. He thought that the fox was a perfect example of the folly of desire and the vanity of appearance. He decided to include the fox in his painting, as a symbol of his message. He painted the fox in the background, looking at the grapes with envy and anger. He painted the grapes in the foreground, hanging from a red ribbon with a cross on it. He painted the ribbon as a sign of his Irish-American heritage, and the cross as a sign of his faith. He painted the grapes as a sign of his talent and creativity. He finished his painting, and he was very pleased with it. He called it Still Life with Grapes. He displayed it in his studio, and everyone who saw it admired it. They praised his skill and artistry, and they understood his message. They saw the contrast between the fox and the grapes, and they realized that true happiness comes from within. He was Cardusius Plantagenet Ream, an American painter, and this was his masterpiece, Still Life with Grapes. He painted it in 1888, and it was one of his most famous works. He was imitated by many, but surpassed by none. He was proud of his work, and he knew that it was real. He knew that his painting was not an illusion, but a reflection of his vision and his reality.